Welcome back to Suburb Trap. Today we have yet another football house, and this one is just down the road from the last two. And this one here, uh, I think it's a pretty standard uh, three or four bedroom, two bath sort of deal. The only thing that really makes it distinctive is the two car garage, which is an all but unheard of feature in the city, really. I think I've only made one or two other houses like this, so. Uh, like I said, that makes it a bit unique. I mean, not especially so, but uh, just a little. Definitely. Okay, so here's the said garage. It's, it's fairly big. I mean, not especially deep, but it is wide. Which is nice, I guess. So here we have the little entryway. We've got some... Uh, some cobblestone, I guess, tiling, you could call it, going on. I mean, I think the uh, the fake cobblestone was actually a pretty popular look back in the, uh, well, I mean, it's as recently as the 80s, I guess, so that's kind of what I was going for with that. Up here, we have a pretty big living area and a nice little kitchen, pretty small dining space, but I guess you could cram a table into this area, too. There's a deck here, pretty nice gardening kind of uh, give a bit of privacy from the tennis courts and stuff next door. And let's, let's go ahead and go back in. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I really love these old door sounds in the pottery trap deck. I don't know why, it's just, uh, I like them. So, let's see, beyond the kitchen and this little suspended cupboard, which I think is kind of neat, we have... The bathroom, which is just a standard sort of outfit. And here we have bedroom one, which is three by probably five or six, maybe even three by seven. I don't know. And bedroom two, which is four by five, I think. And it's got these windows kind of space so that you can put a bed in the middle here and have like a nightstand on either side. I don't know. I think that'd look kind of cool. But uh, I haven't furnished this house yet, and probably won't, to be honest, so, uh, I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and go downstairs, and, uh, down here we have a pretty neat little furnace fireplace sort of deal, a lot of wood paneling, which was all the rage back then. And, uh, a nice little walk out to the backyard here, and this kind of concrete patio underneath the deck itself. And let's see, here we have a bathroom. It's kind of small, got more uh, full cobblestone going on. Except in this game it's actually cobble cobblestone, and not just like plastic tiles make it look like cobblestone. Here we have the utility room with the washer and dryer and all that good stuff. And let's see, back here we have the third bedroom, which I guess I was right, this actually is a three bedroom house. Here we've got a little closet, which is pretty nice. It's got a chest and some storage shelves, all that good stuff. So I think that's about it for the exterior, interior, I should say, of this house. Let me go around back, though, because I'm pretty sure there's a little kind of concrete patio, stone patio. I need to get more in the habit of referring to things as they're called in the game, not just what they are in real life. So, let's see, yep. Well, no. Okay, I, I thought I had put that in, but I guess I didn't. Whatever. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this house. Um, of course, there will be more walkthroughs to come. I think there are a couple of others that I had in mind at the moment. Probably record those today, if possible, actually. Whenever they will be going up is anybody's guess, but uh, we still have them. So... That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a rating. Um, I like comments too, so uh, those are encouraged, obviously. And uh, thanks again, and hopefully I will see you next time.